it coaches. So we have to actually in this portion, we have to prepare machinery account. So let me prepare the machinery account first, then we will start solving. Okay, so this is our machinery account. This is question number twelve, and we are doing solution date particular. Amount, date, particular, and amount. This is machinery. First of all, when we purchase a machine, uh, it is saying that on April 2016, or oh, sorry, August 2016, it is 2016 17, and on August 1st, we have purchased machine so to cash account at 60,000 and again on 1st October 2017 means in current year there is no other purchases so in current year if there is no purchase we will calculate depreciation so working note number one depreciation year 2016-17 we have purchased a machine machine one there is only one machine at 60,000 we have purchased it yes. rate of depreciation is 20% per annum on the original cost original cost means a straight line method. okay 20% into um, now, now the time we have to find so first on 1st august we have purchased so we have used for august september october november december january february march so total eight months august yes total eight months so eight by now it is eight thousand. Okay, so first year depreciation is eight thousand. We will write it on the credit side, March thirty first by depreciation. It is 8,000 and the value of machine is now 52,000. By balance CD, 52,000. This will be transferred to the next year. 2017-18, this is April 1st to balance BD, 52,000.
Now, in this year, we have purchased another machine on 1st October 2017. So, October 1st, we have purchased another machine to cash account for how much amount? It is 20,000. So, 20,000. Actually, GST will be uh, will not be written here because if you pass the journal entry, let's say we write this journal entry so machinery account debit 20000 input gst or cgst account debit it will be 6% so 1200 again input sgst Twelve hundred to cash. Now tell me which amount or which account will go in which account. So total is twenty two thousand four hundred. Now one uh, item will go to machinery account. One item will go to input CGST. One will go to input SGST, and the next will go to cash account. So there will be four account affected by this journal entry. Now, in machinery account, we will write the name of opposite account, so to cash account. So, machinery account to cash amount will be this. In GST account, amount will be this. In SGST, amount will be this. In cash account, amount will be this. But in cash account, all three will be written because uh, cash is related with all three items. That's why. But in machinery account, these two will not be written. And in these two account, uh, other two will not be written. So that's why I have written here, you can see only the cash 20,000. Okay? Okay. Okay. Next, uh, now we have written this also. On 30th June 2018, it sold the first machine purchased in 2016 for 38,500. And we are collecting GST. Again, GST will not be written in machine account. So, on 31st June 2018, this is next year actually. So, now again, we will charge depreciation as 31st by depreciation account and then by balance CD. By balance. CD. Okay, in second year, 2017-18, now there is two machine. So, machine one, 60,000 into 20 percent that is 12,000 and in machine 2 it is 20,000 so 20,000 into 20 percent but this machine is purchased on 1st October so we it, it will be used for October, November, December, January, February, March. So total six months. Two thousand. Total depreciation is fourteen thousand in this. So depreciation will be fourteen thousand. Seventy two thousand. And here by balance CD, it will be fifty eight thousand. Now two thousand eighteen nineteen. Again, it will be April first to balance. BD 
58,000. In third year, we have sold one machine for how much? 38,500. So sold one machine at which date? At, on 30th of June. So June 30th by cash account, 38,500. Now tell me when one machine is sold, what are the things that we have to calculate in this year? When a machine is sold? Yes. When a machine is sold, the amount what do we have to calculate? Yes. The sale Sale value is given. <clears throat> no, sir. <clears throat> the cash? Yeah, cash. We will include cash, sir. It is already given. Yes. But what is not given? That's what I'm asking. I don't understand. Whenever a machine is sold, we have to calculate profit or loss on sale. A oh, profit on sale. We always calculate that, yes or no? Yes, sir. So how you forgot? I'm not understand. I was just asking what we will calculate at the time of sale. So first of all, uh, we will calculate the balance depreciation, the working note number two, profit or loss on sale. So sale price is given, it is 38,500. And then minus book value. To calculate book value, we have to write cost. Cost of machine was 60,000. And we have to deduct the depreciation. Now, depreciation on machine one, machine two, we have to calculate. So, on machine one, it is 60,000 into 20% into uh, April, May, June, three months. It will be 3,000. And on machine two, it is 20,000 into 20%. It is 4,000. So total depreciation charge on machine one is this 3,000, 12,000, 15, and this 8,000. So 23,000 is the total depreciation charge. Now, after deducting 23,000, it is 37,000. So, this is 1,500 profit. Now, this profit will be written on the credit side. Uh, sorry, it is profit, so it will be written on the debit side. So, two profit and loss account. And in current year, we have to calculate depreciation. So by depreciation account. Actually on June 30th, we have to calculate first depreciation and then March 31st. We have to calculate two depreciation because it's two different date. First depreciation is for 3,000, second is for 4,000. And there is no other machine. So it is 59,500. 
9500 by balance cd 45500 is 14000 and this will be written here to balance cd now tell me is there anything you don't understand in this portion, the solution? It's just the same thing, but yes, yes, nothing different. Actually, whenever uh, this is a normal situation with uh, us people, that whenever we see a different thing, we don't have to do anything extra. Then also, we leave the quotient, we leave the problem because we think it is different. But we didn't try it. Yes? Yes. <clears throat> so, you didn't try the quotient, but you thought that it will be different because GST is given. I told you in previous class that GST has no effect in the account, in machinery account or depreciation account. I also told you this, but uh, it will affect only the journal entry part. But in any of these two quotient, there is no journal entry we have to pass. So GST has no effect on our solution. But then also you didn't try the quotient. Well, first of all, I, I woke up at 4 p.m., sir. I do not, I do not have time. I, I understand that you received the quotient a little late. Yes, I know that. But you can try the quotient from your book if you don't receive it. I uh, How many times I told you this? Yes? Yes, sir. But I did not even open accounts with yesterday. Ah, yes. That's the mistake then. That's awesome. You should open the book. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, so what uh, you are practicing then? Economics. Everything yes. except accounts. Everything except accounts. Everything except accounts. Why? Exactly. Is there, uh, you have any problem with accounts? No, sir. It's just too much calculations and a lot of max words and a lot of things to remember. So I just leave it to the last. Okay, for last. Yes. That's great. Good. So can you try the question number two here? Because th this is the, uh, actually one more concept there is. I will explain that concept also. There is one. Asset disposal account. Asset disposal? Yes. Actually, this is not much important concept, but you need to know the concept. So whenever we are removing our assets from our business, that is called disposal of asset in any form, in any situation, okay? So like when we are selling our asset, it is also called disposal. When we are removing after using it, it is also called disposal, okay? So in that situation, to calculate profit or loss. Generally, we calculate profit or loss by preparing a statement like this. This one, working note number two, profit or loss on sale. With this a statement, we prepare to calculate profit or loss on sale of asset. Yes? Yes. So now we will prepare asset disposal account to calculate profit or loss on sale of asset. Okay. Not I do clear. not understand, sir. Yes. 
I'm saying, just saying that instead of preparing the statement, now we have to prepare one account called asset disposal account, okay, to calculate profit or loss. Yes. You create an account to calculate profit or loss. Yes. Oh, okay, sir. How we will prepare the account? We will discuss that later. But I am just explaining the concept of asset disposal account. Why it is prepared? The reason. Okay. Okay, so to calculate profit or loss. Yes, to calculate profit or loss on sale of asset. Now, when we sell asset, what we do here? We have sold the asset and we have written the amount received here. 38,500, yes? Yes, sir. We have written the profit or loss here. So all these things are written in machinery account general. But when we prepare disposal account, asset disposal account, then these items will be written in separate account, in asset disposal account. So asset disposal account is prepared at the time of removal of any assets from business. To calculate profit or loss on such disposal. Okay. Now, what will be the journal entry? First of all, whenever we sell our asset, can you tell me what is the journal entry we pass at the time of sale of asset? Sale of asset? Yes. Whenever we sell our asset, what is the journal entry we pass. Mm. Yes. You don't know the journal entry. Don't remember. No, sir. No, I forgot. Sir. I forgot. See Sales account to stock account. No, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Oh, okay. What asset, sir? Yes. Any asset if you want to sell, let's say machinery. Machinery account to cash account. Sales account. Okay. Think about it according to rule, rule of journal entry, rule of debit credit. Cash account to missionary account, sir. Cash account to missionary Yes, this is correct. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. So, why you are making such mistake? A small mistake? No, sir. No, sir. When you said sales, I confused it with purchase and thought sales and purchase were the same thing. Okay. 
Okay. So now in normal situation, we pass the journal entry for sale of assets like this. But when here, at the time of sale, we will transfer our assets to disposal account. Transfer of asset balance to asset disposal account. So what will be the entry for this? It will be asset disposal account to asset account. So we have transferred the balance of asset account to asset disposal account. If there is any provision created, then for transfer of provision, transfer of provision to asset disposal account. Now, if we are transferring the provision, then it will be provision for depreciation account debit. Assets disposal account. The third now we have transferred the asset, we have transferred the provision to asset disposal account. Now for cash received on sale. So it will be cash account debit. to asset disposal account. Cash account number two, asset disposal account. Yes, uh, one more thing. If there is any GST, then we will include GST here, like GST output account. Now entry number four for profit on sale. Now uh, we are passing the journal entry, but whenever you calculate the balance in asset disposal account, you will get profit or loss. So you don't have to calculate uh, separately. You will just calculate the balance and you will get the answer. But here in journal entry, you have to calculate. So for profit on sale, what will be the entry? So it is asset disposal account debit. To profit and loss. And for loss, It will be profit and loss account debit to asset disposal account. Okay. Asset disposal account debit to profit and loss account. And for loss, it will be just reverse. So these are the entries related to asset disposal account. Now, if we have to create the account,
So this is our asset. Disposal account. Now in this account, first of all, if we transfer the asset to asset disposal account, then asset will be written here to assets account. And if there is any provision, then it will be written here on the credit side by provision or depreciation. If we sell asset, then we will receive cash. So it will also be written on the credit side. After writing asset balance, provision and cash, then we have to calculate the balance. So we will total both sides, whichever is higher, we will write it here. And the balance will be written as to profit and loss. If it is on the debit side, then it is profit. This is balancing here. And if it is on the credited side, then it is loss. Understood the concept? Yes, sir. This is loss. This is profit. So this is your asset disposal form. You want to write this? Yes, sir. You have written or you want to write? I want to write. Oh. You told me to consider it by teaching. Yes. Masa, you, you told me that I am supposed to listen to you when you are teaching and not write. Yes, yes. So that's why you have not written? Yes, sir. That's very good because when I am explaining things, if you write that, then you will not understand the concept. That's why I do. Yes, sir. This is the last concept of this chapter. We'll discuss some question from this now and then we'll go to the next chapter. Actually, there is no, only one or two question in my book for this disposal of them.
Конечно. <laughs> now uh, actually in this format if you see i have written provision for depreciation account rules okay but sometime we don't have to create provision for depreciation account in some of the question we have to create in some of the question we don't have to create so 
in the portion where we have to create provision for depreciation. In that portion only, we have to write this provision for depreciation. Otherwise, we will write the depreciation, only depreciation by depreciation account and current year depreciation will be written. Okay, I will solve a question for this. Please write and then we'll discuss it. No, sir. Finished. Sir. Okay, so I'm sharing a question now. You can see the question here. Question number 28. Now, in 28, if you see there is uh, only depreciation, not provision for depreciation, but in 29. Provision for depreciation account is also created. So in this portion, in asset disposal, we have to transfer accumulated depreciation. Okay. So I'm solving one portion and you have to try the balance too. Okay, sir. Okay. So first question number 27 here. Following balance appear. Note this question you can solve.
Okay. Okay. Now in this portion, portion number twenty-seven. If we prepare asset disposal account, uh, you have solved or written this, yes? Yes. Okay, first of all, okay, so machinery account. Is sixty thousand balance provision for depreciation account thirty six thousand, but we uh, don't have to consider these two for asset disposal account. I am preparing only disposal account. So on first April two thousand eighteen, they decided to dispose of our machinery. So two thousand eighteen nineteen we have to discuss on April first. April first, we have sold this machine. For how much? Eight thousand four hundred, which was purchased on first April two thousand fourteen for sixteen thousand. So it was purchased. The value of this asset was sixteen thousand. So we will transfer the sixteen thousand, and also on this date, the. Accumulated depreciation will be transferred, which is called provision. So provision for depreciation. It will be transferred. But we have to calculate that. Now, 16,000 was the balance and the depreciation rate is 10%. Okay. So 16,000 into 10% into uh, for how much time? 2014 to 18, 15, 16, 17, four years. So it will be 48 months divided by two. 6,400. This is 6,400. That's it. We will write the total depreciation if it is provision for depreciation concept. And if it is only depreciation concept, then we will write the depreciation of current year. You have to remember this. Okay. Sixteen thousand. Do it. Yes, sir. You understood what I just told you. I told you that if provision for depreciation concept we have to follow, then we will take full depreciation on machine. But if we have to follow only depreciation uh, concept, then we will take depreciation of current year only. Okay, sir. Okay, so in this we have taken full depreciation of machine because it is provision concept okay so this is your portion number 27 that's it this is your profit loss it is all automatically calculated because it is balancing figure 16,000 minus these two you will get 1,000 is that clear Yes, sir. Okay. So, do you have any question? Not really, sir. 
So this is the last concept. If you have any question in this whole chapter or this concept of asset disposal, then actually try some portion so that you, uh, if you have any problem, you find out and then discuss the portion with me. Okay. Okay. Sir, do you have notes for every chapter apart from these notes? Actually, uh, I write these things here only. And I have some notes, but uh, that is in Hindi, actually. So I think you will not understand that. Yes. Yes. Only some of the topic I have uh, notes in English. What are those topics? Sir? I have to see. If you have depreciation, can you send me? Okay, I will see if there is, then I will send. And rectifications of error. No, that is not. Okay. Actually, for depreciation also I have to see because I'm not sure which chapter I have in English. Okay, sir. Okay. Do you have any 